guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to today's video so we are heading to sweden okay and the title of the video says life in sweden 2024 full documentary so i'm here to react with you all about this particular one if you're new to the channel hi welcome my name is jesse react welcome to my space here i create a lot of amazing content reaction content you will definitely enjoy yourself so guys let's get the video started Firstly, Sweden has a wow. massive land area of 528,000 square kilometers. I say huge because compared to European countries, the land area of this country is enormous. The good side of the matter is that in such a peaceful and vast geography, only 11 million people live. Imagine having a similar land area to Spain, Thailand or the state of California in the United States and you only have a population of 11 million. Meanwhile, 72 million people live in Thailand. In Spain, there are 50 million registered people. In California, 40 million people live there. In this sense, Sweden has few people and much tranquility. For example, 2023, according to research by corporate companies such as CNN and Forbes, wow. Sweden ranked as the sixth happiest country in the world. The fact that such studies are being served to the world creates the thought that even those who have never been to Sweden think it is a perfect country. Another correct strategy of the country is that they have not been involved in a war since 1814. In other words, they managed to avoid disasters such as World War I and World War II and continued their development silently. In contrast, other countries lost people and money in wars. As a result, no matter how much immigration they receive, they are not in the midst of great chaos. People are very well groomed and have a high standard of living. Their biggest problems are icy wow. climatic conditions and tax rates reaching 60%. In addition to this, since they have a pristine nature, you can drink water from the taps with really? peace of mind and use the fountains as drinking water. In Sweden, you cannot see the slightest sign of lime in water sources, and even people living life at such a high level can drink water from taps with peace of mind. Moreover, Sweden is one of the regions where beneficial plants used in blueberries and herbal teas naturally grow. People there collect natural herbs and fruits, turn them into tea, and protect themselves from cold weather. On the other hand, since human rights are fundamental in Sweden, you cannot see any physical punishment given to children especially. At the same time, you know that companies like IKEA, Volvo and Epidemic Sound originated in Sweden. IKEA has kept its shares in Sweden since its establishment. However, even though a Chinese company has produced Volvo for the last 10 years, they still have the label of Sweden as a brand and continue to grow sturdy luxury cars like the first day. Architecturally, I cannot know your expectations from a country. But in Sweden, the roads are genuinely clean and modern. Buildings are generally brick red or cream colored with high contrast color tones. Suppose you come from a geography distant from European architecture. In that case, the architecture of the triangular roofed houses reminiscent of castles in Sweden and the medieval atmosphere they bring to the city can enchant you. 
In the capital, Stockholm, people are generally in a business intensity. They go to work or school calmly. Wow. There is no life chaos and no traffic congestion on the way to work. Some go to work on foot, while others ride bikes without needing a car. There are even those who travel within the city using electric scooters. In Stockholm, you will also see many ultra-luxury cars. These cars are usually Italian and German vehicles, such as Porsche, Mercedes, Ferrari and Maserati. It should also be noted that owning a good car in Sweden is easy, just like in other Europe. Mm, this is pretty interesting. Now, I did not know that Volvo and IKEA is from Sweden. Now I know. Wow. Epic, 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 epic. I am literally enjoying exploring around other culture. This is going to be an, an interesting historical and cultural diversity for me okay i hope you're going to enjoy this video with me please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel like share and comment going to school going to work you can it's not a compulsory you have a car you can use bicycle or electric scooter that is really really awesome the roads look pretty pretty clean it looks so so beautiful in the beginning of the video i saw some beautiful sights and i was like wow I'm blown away like <clears throat> is this really mm. and the the, the last word they involved was 1980, 1814. Yeah, 1814. So since then, they have not had any other war according to this video. So you can do it to highlight me more in the comment section if it is true or not. We are here to learn and we are here to teach each other. So let's keep on watching, guys. In countries. For example, in many Middle Eastern and South American countries, when you buy a car, really? you also pay taxes to the state as much as the price of a car. However, you can own a second hand, low mileage, new model Volvo for between ten and fifteen thousand dollars in Sweden. Swedes mostly prefer large vehicles with wagon style trunks. This is because they can fit their children, tents, and anything else they can think of inside. In a country with forests, lakes and pristine natural areas, the people wow. of Sweden spend their weekends with their children in these spacious cars, enjoying barbecues or hiking activities. By the way, let's remind wow. you that Sweden has more than 220,000 islands. You can find ferries and boat tours to these islands from Stockholm. However, many islands have no settlement and are as deserted as possible. Even if the islands do not interest you, watching wow. Stockholm while traveling on the sea will give you a separate peace of mind. If you move to Sweden from lively entertainment-loving countries like Italy, Germany or Ukraine, the daily routine in Stockholm may seem boring. There, life is focused on work and tranquility. However, going there from a Middle Eastern or African country will seem like heaven to you due to the quality of life. You will appreciate that the quality of life in Sweden and crime wow. rates are much better compared to African and Middle Eastern countries. People, including women, can comfortably walk the streets at night in the country. The probability of someone harassing them is less than 1%. In other words, the country is extremely safe wow. and crime rates are low compared to worldwide averages. For example, according to current research on this list, Sweden ranks 60th in countries with the highest crime rates. Moreover, those who commit crimes in the country are generally immigrants, not the local people. Because high taxes can become unbearable for outsiders. For example, if you have moved to Sweden and work as a freelancer, you will encounter a massive tax bracket of 50% wow. for the money deposited into your account from a bank you opened there. In other words, there is a tax situation of up to 50% for any kind of freelance work you can think of in Sweden, and these rates can be quite annoying for those who go there from outside. Apart from these, we can claim that the Swedish people have the most beautiful races in the world. Everyone's taste in beauty may be different, but if we compare among European <laughs> countries, Swedes are truly beautiful and handsome. Each man you see on the streets or parks looks like a film actor. They are blonde, tall and dress very classy. Young people and elderly men mm -hmm. look well-groomed to an extent that you cannot see in many countries. Swedish men are generally not entertainment wow. focused, but have a characteristic of seeking a serious life. They are not looking for okay. temporary flings. They are looking for someone okay. serious to marry. At least that's what the people we talk to say. If you are a woman in Sweden, don't rejoice too much about hearing mm -hmm. this because Swedish women are as beautiful as men, my friends. 
So if you are an immigrant, it can be quite challenging to accept yourself there. These people are cultured, educated, and look pretty good as well, for instance. Women are neither too thin nor too overweight. They have well-built body shapes due to regular sports. Wow. They have natural ash blonde hair, and almost all of them have blue eyes. It is also said that Tinder is intensively used in the country. If you wonder what Tinder is when you swipe right on the person who appears on the application, and if they also swipe right and like you, you match, and then you meet. Okay. It is said that many people in Sweden flirt through this application. The users are generally immigrants who have moved there later. Immigrants meet and flirt with such applications because people in the daily life of Sweden take a serious attitude, and it may not be easy to meet someone face to face, and you might face rejection. If you say that applications like Tinder are not suitable for you, I can say that there is also intense interest in courses like Salsa in Sweden. One of the most beautiful aspects of Stockholm is undoubtedly that it overlooks the sea and is adjacent to the Baltic Sea. The capital of Sweden, oh, okay. Stockholm, is just as close to the capitals of Finland and Estonia, Helsinki and Tallinn. The Baltic Sea is located between these three capitals, and you can also travel by sea to the beautiful capitals of these three beautiful countries. You will see a similar life and climate wherever you go among these three countries. For example, in all three countries, the oxygen ratio in the air is much higher than the rest of the world. The population is low, the architectures are dazzling, and the people are educated and beautiful. For example, Sweden has a high wow. oxygen ratio because forests cover 69% of the land area. These forests contain a high number of pine trees and various plants. Therefore, you can always breathe fresh oxygen into your lungs. Oh, wow, wow. The way he's describing the girls and the men, <laughs> that's literally awesome. And the high level of oxygen, like you're able to breathe more fresher air because of the forest and fresh air that's really awesome okay i am literally enjoying this i am discovering more about sweden and um i hope you are as well this is a quite a quite 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 educational video and um, i love how extreme he's um going in details in explaining things about sweden from the historical version to the cultural version and um i'm literally enjoying this let me know your thoughts in the comment section so guys let's keep on watching it is said that only 3% of Sweden's land area is made up of cities. Besides, in urban areas, it is not entirely a matter of concrete. For example, in the city arrangement in Stockholm, you see that trees surround many buildings and many parks in the cities. Swedes like to live intertwined with trees, flowers and insects. And even if they build a building, they do not eliminate the habitat there. In other words, they are in harmony with nature, a matter of culture for them. Even in the national anthem really? of Sweden, praises are made for nature. For example, sentences like, My beautiful country, I greet our wow. sky, our sun, and our green lands, can be found in their anthem. While continuing to talk about the beautiful aspects of Sweden, let's also include negative situations in between, so that the video is not perceived as Sweden propaganda. If my friends, in addition to achieving such a positive quality of life, you want to pay five or six dollars for tea or coffee at a cafe to socialize in Sweden, or twenty-five dollars for a portion of pasta, Sweden can indeed be the country you want to live in. Especially after the pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war, there has been a significant increase in the prices of cereals and coffees entering the country. Swedes suddenly encountered inflation rates of 10%, Currently, eating at a restaurant or having coffee in a cafe is expensive wow. for those going from outside and for the local people in Sweden. However, some people look at the situation from this perspective. If you are earning Swedish krona in Sweden, it is normal for you to spend Swedish krona when shopping and pay amounts accordingly. If you earn Swedish krona but think about that amount in terms of less valuable currencies when spending, the cost of living there will certainly seem absurdly expensive to you. It is also a fact that Sweden's economy is always one of the weakest among the European Union countries. This may surprise you, but if you look at various research rankings among European Union countries, you can see that Sweden wow. is generally at the bottom of various statistical rankings. Yes, they have a stable economy, but life is extremely expensive. For example, electricity prices in the country have increased five times from last year to today. There is also a 9% inflation in food.
80% of the people are significantly bothered by the price increases in all areas of life in the last year. Nevertheless, immigrants love Sweden. Immigrants granted residence permits in Sweden form more elite segments than places like London. Those living in Sweden understand very well what I mean. Because immigrants there include smarter, more educated, calm and hard-working individuals compared to places like London and New York. Wow. So much so that immigrants, who almost need to learn Swedish to be permanent in the country, learn the language quickly and get sufficient scores in language exams. In addition, those who move to Sweden with their families become directly integrated into the lifestyle and culture of Sweden and are not adversely affected by the adaptation process. Especially Africans are quite successful in this regard and unconditionally adapt to the rules of Sweden. In addition to Africans, there is a dense population of Syrian, Iranian and Arab immigrants in the country. Of course, some blonde, blue-eyed people there have migrated from Russia and Ukraine. When you talk to the immigrants there, you hear a similar sentence from all of them. They say, this is the best country in the world. However, those who cannot hold on in places where life is expensive, such as the capital Stockholm, live a more rural life in Sweden. For example, this is Skansen, located in the south of Stockholm and a charming village town opening to the Baltic Sea. This place is also an open-air museum summarizing Sweden's way of life centuries ago. If you want to immerse yourself in ducks, streams, lush nature and the sounds of birds and insects, you should not head north where the weather gets harsh in Sweden, but wow. rather go south and explore such fairy tale villages. In these regions, people over 50 live more. It may be difficult to come across young people because the children of these families usually head to Stockholm for their career goals. This video was the first video about Sweden in 2024. In the second part of the video, we will continue to explore Sweden from positive and negative perspectives and try to understand how life is in the early months of 2024. Goodbye. As we continue to understand what Sweden is like in 2024, we can talk about how people there engage in a lot of... Pretty awesome, okay? Like learning the things, amazing things about Sweden. I literally enjoyed this, okay? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Speaking about um, food getting high, um, things getting high, I think it's all word, okay? Things are really getting much, much expensive. In every country, I think the world president or whatever needs to work on that because of the cost of living. I'm literally enjoying this particular video. You can do well to highlight me more in the comment section. Do you agree with his facts? And um, yeah, let's keep on watching, guys. Physical activity, regardless of age. No, they are not trying to reach somewhere by running. They are simply engaging in sports for the sake of a healthy body. People wake up at 6 in the morning without hesitation to start running. Swedes have placed sports at the center of their lives. In addition, Sweden effectively utilizes the high taxes it collects from its citizens to benefit the people. It is one of the places in the world where the concept of a welfare state is actively implemented. For example, there is a support fund called Försakring Skassa. People in need in the country can apply for such assistance funds to receive support from the government in various matters. For instance, if you need a dental checkup or want a dental filling, the state provides payment support of up to 50% through this fund. Really? Or let's say you are very ill and want to take leave from work. Without needing to present any medical report wow. to your employer, you can take paid leave from your workplace for 14 days. The Swedish state supports workers in this regard and offers the opportunity for rest, regardless of where you work. In addition, if you end up unemployed after leaving your job, you can apply to the Försakring Skassa That's Fund, good. and the state begins to provide you with rent and livelihood support. Of course, they don't provide this to you indefinitely. They expect you to find a new job within a certain period. 
Regarding employment, both men and women work in a family. Since life is expensive, the monthly income of a single person, even reaching thousands of dollars, may not be sufficient for life there. Therefore, men and women strive to develop wow. themselves and earn money by finding work. Owning a home there is challenging, even if two family members work. Sweden is one of the most expensive countries in Europe in terms of housing. Especially locals say that housing prices have increased by more than 50% in the last two years. For example, housing prices are calculated per square meter, while apartment prices per square meter in Stockholm range from $7,000 to $10,000. In Gothenburg and Malmö, these prices range from $4,000 to $6,000. So if you want to buy a 100 square meter house in Sweden, you should foresee that it will cost you an average of $500,000. Of course, if you have no concerns about living in major developed cities and your only goal is to be in Sweden, you can find cheaper homes in smaller towns. For example, yeah. some places in the country sell houses through auctions. You can pursue opportunities from these auctions. For instance, there can be an auction for a home in the forest. Swedes love the auction system and living a peaceful life in wooded areas. In Sweden, people do not typically start forming a family in their 20s. In fact, people prefer to remain single until the age of 30. Official marriages in the country generally occur between 30 and 40. People in Sweden in their 20s prefer to live life individually and reach satisfaction in personal pleasures. The goal of getting married after a while is to have children or jointly acquire property. For example, in Spain, people can live in their family homes until age 40 and a similar situation is common in Italy. However, in Sweden, children leave their family homes after turning 18 and open studio apartments for themselves. Scandinavians truly appreciate wow. individuality. Moreover, both Swedes, Norwegians and Danes consider themselves truly fortunate when comparing their living conditions to the current era. In fact, some boldly claim that in terms of life conditions, they started life ahead of people in other regions. Their only complaint is about the imbalance between day and night and the cold weather. The harsh climate has such an unpredictable effect on them that some surveys indicate the most significant reason people feel depressed is the severe wow. climate conditions within the country. Therefore, those who leave Sweden do so for two significant reasons, the cold and harsh weather conditions and high taxes. If you plan to live there for an extended period, consider these two factors seriously. For example, when you go to work, it's dark. When you return home from work, it's dark again. Except This is an eye opener <clears throat> in coming from an immigrant. Okay, um, housing five thousand dollars to own a house. Wow, that is quite high, and um, the high tax. And um, hmm, this video has really, really opened a lot of brackets for me, okay, because I love explaining around different countries, knowing different, different diversities of um, countries, um, culture, history, and um, life in general. And Sweden, Sweden is a beautiful country, okay, looking at the video, it's a really, really beautiful country. I feel when you work much harder, you'll be able to live anywhere you want to live in the world. Yeah, so... Uh, the last part before we click out was where immigrants were sleeping off the street uh that's something i would like to add is it still happening because this is 2024 video so i don't know if how current this 
particular clip is yeah and um the if you leave work and they'll still be paying you salary that's really really amazing okay because it's not all country that practice that and the when the other uh the fund whereby if you get if you leave your work like if they sack you from your office and you apply for a particular fund and the government will be funding you till you get a particular job that's really really amazing because that's a good way to support your that government this thing is a good way to support your people yeah i'm literally enjoying this sorry if you're hearing me do um, um, um okay i am just speaking out from my mind all right so uh let's keep on watching guys cake or tea break and chat with others for the people there this time frame signifies a kind of meditation a way to refresh their mood in terms of transportation Swedes often prefer subways the subways are generally located underground and have impressive designs much like subways in Russia the subways in Sweden dazzle as if another world is underground and captivate those who see them for the first time To avoid bothering the other person, they do not sit across from them, preferring to stand. Interpreting this habit is up to you. You can see it as a sign of respect for the other person, or you can view it as an unnecessary quirk. <clears throat> In Sweden, when it comes to the education of children, for the first six years, no grades or scores are given to them. Children initially focus on acquiring knowledge and are kept away from the competition system. This way, negative psychological effects on Swedish children are prevented. Additionally, children are not usually assigned homework and assignments are mostly done at school. Therefore, it is important to note that children in Sweden often play outdoors and have plenty of free time outside of school. The most unfavorable thing for a child starting school there is enrolling in a Swedish school without knowing the Swedish language. Especially, it is said that small children coming from Ukraine undergo a serious adaptation process in Swedish schools. Returning to everyday life, Swedes really dislike wastefulness. For example, more than half of the waste in the country is left at designated points for recycling. In Sweden, you can see many recycling bins in city centres. Really? The state collects this waste and even obtains fuel from it. Later, they use it as gas in urban transportation vehicles. 
Since almost all produced items are made from recyclable materials, less than 10% of the material cannot be recycled and remains as permanent waste. They even buy garbage from neighboring countries like Finland and turn this garbage into different materials, making a profit. Another point is that if they feel they will no longer use their clothes, they do not throw them away. They donate them to others for appreciation. Since people dress qualitatively and nicely, they do not harm others by throwing away or destroying wow. their personal belongings. On the contrary, they prefer them to be useful and efficient for others. Municipal services also seem to be very good in the country, especially in Stockholm. You don't need to visit only the central points. Even if you stroll through side streets, you witness a flawless city arrangement. The buildings are shiny and the roads are always clean. For example, these buildings belong to simple structures where ordinary income people in the capital live. However, despite this, they look pretty decent and livable. At the beginning of every street, there are bicycle parks. People's use of bicycles competes with cities like Amsterdam and Copenhagen. It is debatable which one has more bicycles, but in Sweden, there is no need to use a car for transportation and burn gasoline. Another thing that is as abundant as bicycles on the streets is baby carriages. In Sweden, despite the small population, you can see quite a few families with babies outdoors. Perhaps most of these families with children are those who migrated there later. It should also be noted that if you live in Sweden and have a child, you can get 480 days of paid parental leave as a couple. Imagine not going to work for more than a year and still receiving your full salary. This means that the Swedish state protects the comfort and rights of its people. In this way, both the mother and father care for the newborn. There are even special baby care courses for fathers in the country. That's all for now about Sweden. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Really? Wow, guys, that was literally amazing. I love, 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 love how his explanation and um, the way he took us through um, Sweden in um, the culture, the history, the um, rules, the don'ts and don'ts, and um, it's so so amazing. Okay, and um, the ending part that melted my heart was whereby he said um, the government take care of their citizen, actually couples that give birth, they, you you have leave, okay, and yet you still get paid. That is really really that's that's really really amazing because not all countries that practice that if you don't work you don't feed your family but this one because you gave birth to a child in sweden you are entitled to uh, a certain amount of leave and in that leave you're entitled to a particular amount of money that's really amazing i literally enjoyed this let me know your own opinion on your own thought in the comment section i'll do it read it and um, let's interact and i'll see you in the next one if you love more of swedish um, videos i have a playlist and you can do it to check it out and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye darlings <laughs>